I have no problems when I ask Michelle to do a recording of O Come All Ye Faithful for us, although we're not going to use such a recording today because it's her favourite carol and she loves it. And as I hear her sing and play it, I know how much she delights in that carol. O Come All Ye Faithful has a, a title to its music, Adestes Fideles, I think it is. Uh, and those words are the words of the Latin text, uh, which goes with the hymn. There were four stanzas written in Latin originally. Um, we're not quite sure how long ago it was, uh, but it was translated into English in the 1800s by Frederick Oakley. And the hymn itself reminds us of God and his power and his presence and our response to him to come and bow and worship him. O come all ye faithful. Uh, and we come to him joyful and triumphant at this season. I wonder as we uh, hear the music today, will we be inspired to come and worship? Will we be moved to uh, fight back against this infection which is affecting our whole world and make ourselves available to come out to worship when it is safe to do so, to come all ye faithful. Uh, I hope that you do and I hope that you feel safe and secure to do so when that time comes. In the hymn there is a, a chord, I call it the chord, because to me it is the chord which moves me more deeply than any other musical chord in the world. Um, in the final verse where we hear the words word of the father um, there's a chord there with a, a sort of it's got more notes in it than you have fingers on your hand i think uh, to play on a piano and i just can't get anywhere near it um, but it's a beautiful chord a moving chord and it uh, to me is when that is played during a carol service um, on, a, on a grand organ of, of some sort um, i'm deeply moved Word of the Father, now in flesh appearing. It's not just the music, it's the message as well. O come, all ye faithful. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunities that we have had as members of the body of Christ to meet with one another and to worship your holy name. And those times have become all the more precious as they have been denied to us at some level through the current and ongoing uh, virus trouble. I pray, Lord God, that you will help all of us who have had to pull back from our public worship to be ready to come forward again and to worship and to praise you as our God and Saviour. Help us, we pray, to know your presence, uh, even though we can't meet together as we would like to, and help us to rejoice in the Saviour who's born as we come to adore him. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Please follow the link on the Facebook page uh, to hear the music for today. God bless.